All right, welcome back to another one gauge LCD screen customization video. Uh, in this video, we're going to show you maybe the most important part of the process, and that's actually how to get the screen design off of your computer and onto your one gauge LCD screen to update it. So the process is actually pretty simple. You're going to need um, really one piece of hardware to be able to do this. You're going to need a micro SD card. They look like this. They're just these little um, SD cards that are commonly used in cameras or cell phones um, to give you more storage. Now, the manufacturer of the screens recommends that you use an SD card with a capacity of no more than 32 gigabytes. So a 16 or 32 gigabyte SD card is going to be the best option for you in this case. Um, so we recommend picking up one of those if you don't already have one. And then you just need a way to put this into your computer. Some computers have a little slot that will allow you to insert an SD card directly. Um, but a lot of times when you buy an SD card, they'll come with a little USB. Um, let's see if I can see one on Amazon. A little USB uh, dongle that would plug into your computer and allow you to use the SD card. Let's see if we can just search for one so you can see. Yeah, so it just looks like this and you would put the SD card into the back of that. So once that S, once you insert the SD card in, uh, let's see if I can do it so I can give you a live demonstration. Okay, so I'm putting an SD card into the USB port of my computer, and my computer is going to pull up. Um, when you look at your Windows Explorer, I have my SD card named One Gauge. So. Um, in this case, it's the D drive, and so that's where I know I'm going to want to put my file. Now, it's important when you do this process, I'll go ahead and delete this file, that everything, that there, there's nothing else on the SD card. The SD card should be totally empty before you start this process. You can format it if you choose um, to make sure that it is totally empty. So you're going to want to make sure that it's empty and just remember that you want to save it to the D drive to save your screen file. Okay, so when, you, when you're ready to do it, you want to hit this compile button. When you're done with all your designing, it's going to run through this output. And if it gives you any errors or does anything like this, that, that said that there will be text in red and it says an error, then you're going to want to fix that error. If you can't figure out how, just, free, just feel free to reach out to us and we can help. But the things that you should be doing, just creating and, and deleting um, text and numbers, should not create any errors. So that shouldn't be an issue with you. So you want to look for it to say compile successful. That's a good thing. Now when we're done and ready to export it, we go up here. Whoops. And the first thing we hit is TFT file output. That's basically going to export the file so that our screen can, can upload the new design. Okay, and we need to change the path. We can click this arrow and I need to change it to one gauge. So changes it to the D um, device like we discussed and then you just hit output. And it's gonna run through this process. It'll take maybe 30 seconds to a minute kind of depending on, on how many files, how big the, the design is. Um, in this case, we have a lot of images on these screens so you can see it running through the data here at the bottom. So once this is done, it's going to open up the folder that it exported to and it's going to show you the the .tft file, which is the file type that's used to update the screen itself. And that window is going to pop open here in a second. And we're going to want to check and make sure that this file is still the only file that's on the SD card. So there we go. It popped open. It's got the same name as the file that you're working with. So, for example, if the name of your project is, you know, one gauge themes, then your TS TFT file is going to be named one gauge theme. Okay, so that's all fine. Now, you all, all you have to do is eject this, and then it's going to give you, you know, a little uh, warning or indication at the bottom of your screen that's going to say that you can now eject the drive so you'll pull your SD card out and the SD card actually inserts into the back of the screen itself so there's a small metal slot on the back of our LCD screens 
where you put the SD card in and it'll only fit one way so you don't have to worry about putting it in backwards. When you put it in, it will click into the slot and then you need to power off the screen, so power off the one gauge system and then when you power it back on, the screen's going to turn white. It will show you the progress of the update and tell you when it's completed. And when it says the update is successful, you power the screen, the system off again, remove the SD card, power the system back on, and you should have an updated screen design on your screen. So if you have any issues with that, please let us know. Um, you can always reach us at info at theonegage.com. We're happy to help you with this process. Um, but hopefully it's a smooth and easy thing now that I've kind of shown you and walked you through how to do it. Thanks and have a good one.